If you guys are looking for a really high quality speakers or maybe a cool mechanical keyboard or a super responsive mouse or a dope looking cabinet for your next build then make sure to check out zebronics.com. From slim LED TVs to wireless headsets they have it all at a really good and reasonable price. For more information check out the link in the description below. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a really cool looking abstract stimulation, particle stimulation in After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So let's pretty quickly create a new composition which is going to be our main comp. Let's rename this to main which is 1920 into 1080 30 frames 10 seconds and hit ok so the first thing that I'm gonna do is create a light so let's create a new light this is gonna be our point light and it is very important to rename this as emitter just as I did cause trap code is gonna read this light as an emitter light you know it's gonna emit particles from this light and it only reads the light when it is renamed as emitter so make sure to keep that in mind and hit ok so let's pretty quickly create a new null object let's align the anchor point in the center just like that also align the null object well it is not really important but you know let's try to be as organized as possible then let's make the null 3d and let's call this the controller there we go then I'm gonna create a new solid so hit ctrl Y to create a new solid let's call this mask and hit OK doesn't matter which color it is let's select the ellipse tool and from the center I'm gonna create a perfect circle so let's drag it in and hold alt ctrl and shift to create a perfect circle just maybe this big okay pretty cool and then what I'm going to do is go into the controller layer and hit P to bring down the position properties. Go into the mask property of the mask layer that we just created. Select the mask path. Hit Ctrl C to copy it. Select the position. So click on the position and hit Ctrl V to paste it up. And then we can delete the mask layer. So we can delete this up. So now what we have is a basic keyframing for a null object. So as you can see, really simple. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to parent my light to the null object. But before that, let's go into the top view. And let's bring in the light as the position of the null object. Basically in the same Z position. So somewhere around there. Let's bring it. Something like that. Let's switch to active camera and there we have it let's bring it at the top now it's not not really important but as i told you guys let's try to be as precise as possible pretty good and then we can just parent or link this up to the controller just like that so now you can see the null and the light moves together so the null, so the light is attached to the null pretty simple so now let's get into the fun stuff. So let's create a new solid and this is going to be our particle layer. So let's rename these two particles. Hit OK. And let's add the effect trap code particular. There we go. And it's basically going to emit particles just like so. All right. So let's go step by step. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go into the emitter. All right. Change the emitter type from point to light. And now you can see the particles are getting generated from the light pretty sweet let's keyframe the particles per second so what I'm gonna do is let's go to around let's go to 20 seconds maybe or not 20 seconds 20 frames sorry for that let's set the particles per second count to 500 okay create a keyframe go one frame forward in time so hit page down and set this to zero okay so now we should have something like this pretty simple 
Let's change the position subframe from linear to 10x smooth. And let's change the direction from uniform to bidirectional. So now we have something like that. Nothing much different. So let's play around with the velocity. Maybe I'll just set this to 5. And let's set the velocity randomness to 0. We don't need any velocity distribution as well. And let's increase the velocity from motion to around 50. And we can tweak it later on as well. I'm just going with random numbers. Okay. Somewhat what I'm going for. Pretty cool. And let's close this up. Or maybe before that, let's change the emitter type. So let's let's change the emitter size to 0. So now we have a straight line which looks something like that. Now let's close the emitter. Let's go into the particles. So let's change the particles or life per second of the particles to 2. We don't need any feathers. So I'm going to set this to 0. And the size to 0 as well. Because we will be using the aux system for this animation. And let's close the particles. That's all we need to do in the particle section. And now let's go into the aux system. Let's set this to continuous. Let's increase the emitter probability to let's go with maybe let's leave it at 100 for now. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go to particles per second and I'll increase this to around a really fairly big number to let's go with let's start from 500. Pretty cool. A big number to start actually. Okay. Let's increase the life per second to 2. And also, I'm going to increase the in, in, inherit main velocity all the way up to 100. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is, let's we don't need any feather, so let's set this to 0. And the size, I'm going to go with maybe 0.5. really nice and small and set the set color from add start to over life so we have some color in it and then let's go into the physics section let's go into the air tab let's turn on the air resistant rotation and play around with the air resistance to maybe let's say let's go with a small number like two pretty cool Let's increase the spin amplitude to around, let's go with 5. And also, let's maybe spin frequency. We don't need any spin frequency, so let's set this to 0. Also, we don't need any fade in spin. So let's everything set to 0. Now let's go into the turbulence field. Let's increase the effect position to all the way up to 150. And now we get some really cool and abstract looking particles as you can see right off the bat looks pretty good actually we can always play around with the scale you know the complexity and octave mult octave multiplier so let's set this to around zero octave scale octave scale yep i think i spelled it right to zero we don't need it and evolution speed to maybe let's go with one now we have something like that. You can always play around with the evolution speed as you can see to create a number of different looking, you know, abstract looking shapes. But I like to go with one. It's pretty organic and looks pretty nice. And evolution offset. So we can play with the evolution offset. You know, create some really nice and random looking particles. I'm going to go with something like, let's see what we can do. Something like this may be really abstract. There's no particular, you know, shape for this. So we can go really crazy with this thing. So for now, let's go into the aux system again and let's color this up. So let's go into the color over life. Where is it? Oh, yeah, there we go. Color over life. It's in the aux system. So let's select a preset. Something like black and white and drag this black right over here. Okay. And I'm going to select a color, something like a darker pink. It looks really cool. And set this black to something like a blue. And this looks really interesting color, you know. Maybe it's a little bit of purplish blue. 
and as you can see it looks really interesting so let's pretty quickly create a new camera maybe 20 millimeters hit ok and let's hit AA to bring down the camera properties and we can hit Control shift H so we can hide the control layers basically let's increase the aperture to around 150 really high there we go let's play around with the focus distance just to focus on the particles pretty nice and I'm gonna select the camera tool and zoom in a little bit more it's we don't need for now so let's hide this up since see it more properly okay maybe increase the blur level to around 200 and let's find a really nice depth of field to our scene really nice let's set this to full so we can see how it looks and this is actually looking pretty cool better than uh, better than I expected 200 something like that and let's add some vibrance to this so let's go into particle layer and you can always tweak some settings and create an abstract looking particles actually you can create thousands of abstract looking particles using this technique so pretty quickly I'm gonna add some vibrance to this let's increase the vibrance to around 30 maybe and saturation to 10 okay now it's looking a bit more better let's increase select the camera and play around with the focus distance okay that is actually looking pretty good I feel so let's increase the aperture to maybe around 250 all right maybe set this to around somewhere around there this is looking actually pretty cool yep there we go so pretty quickly what I'm gonna do is pre comb this animation let's call this animation actually you can of course call it whatever that you want hit ctrl D hit R to rotate it and there we have it let's set this to 180 degrees pretty simple but pretty interesting effect to play around with also create or add optical flares if you have it's totally up to you guys not really you know essential so let's add optical flares oh I'm gonna add it on an adjustment layer so let's create a new solid pretty quick let's rename this to OP for optical flares hit OK and add optical flares let's set this to transparent go to options clear all and we just need the glow hit OK Control shift H to bring up the properties the control layers let's put it somewhere around there maybe and let's change the color to something like a darker pink just like we did something like that nice and sweet pretty cool play around with the scale the brightness and stuff like that somewhere around there let's we can switch to maybe 16 bits you know to get rid of the color bendings I can add noise pretty quick little bit of noise just to get rid of the you know color bendings maybe around 1% or maybe 3% perfect now you guys may you guys must be seeing some you know color bendings because of the screen recorder because it's gonna YouTube is gonna compress the video but your everything is getting you know clean as I add the noise so yep play around with the noise as well also I can just duplicate this hit control D let's change this to kind of a blue color of purplish blue maybe and let's place it somewhere around there somewhere on there let's create a new adjustment layer pretty quick and do a little bit of color correction to this so let's you know add some curves and pump up the colors a bit 
really nice now it's looking pretty nice as you can see and you can of course use this for a title background you can type in you know your text whatever that you want to type in so let's say abstract titles anything that you want basically change this to maybe something like a light unisense you know make it really small and nice just doing some random stuff right over here just to give you guys an idea of how you can utilize this really cool effect and obviously you can anytime go into the particles change the look however however that you want you can always go into the animation you know change and tweak the animation you can play around with the camera angles do some really crazy stuff though maybe what i can do is we can go into the particles section go into the aux system oh no into physics actually play around with the evolution offset to create a different kind of look totally you can see now we have a different look really simple and easily we can create tons and tons of you know really cool looking animations pretty sweet so that is a wrap for today i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i will see you guys in my next video till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative Thank <laughs> you.